नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग स्टडे दी हैवी रेनफॉल वाज अगार्डेड आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ओवर दी साउथ तमिलनाडु एंड साउथ केरला एंड स्टडे हैवी रेनफॉल वाज आल्सो अगार्डेड वन आर टू प्लेसेस ओवर दी अरुणाचल प्रदेश एंड एज फार एज दी हेल स्टॉम्स आर कंसर्न स्टडे मध्य प्रदेश विदर्भा एंड मराठवाड़ा रिपोर्टेड हेल स्टॉम एक्टिविटी इट वन आर टू प्लेसेस एंड ओवर दी नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया मेनली दी सिक्किम रीजन रिपोर्टेड दी हेल स्टॉम एक्टिविटी इट वन आर टू प्लेसेस एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर दी टूडे chief synoptic features then over the south peninsular india a cyclonic circulation can be seen over the comorian area and adjoining tamil nadu um, south tamil nadu coast over the east india a circulation lies over the north interior odisha another cyclonic circulation lies over the southwest uttar pradesh and over the west india a cyclonic circulation lies over the gujarat uh, saurashtra and kutch region a trough also runs from this region up to the south interior karnataka across the madhya maharashtra and north interior karnataka and over the Uh, Iran a western disturbance can be seen in the middle and upper tropospheric levels because of this western disturbance a huge cloud mass can be seen over all those regions and this western disturbance is approaching towards the indian region accordingly the this cloud patch is also moving it is approaching towards the indian region and because of these synoptic features if you look for the mainly the hail storm activity so because of this approaching western disturbance mainly the northwest india very likely to experience uh, uh, like to moderate rainfall activity hail storm activity thunder storm activities uh, during 13 to 15th of uh, april because of that mainly if you look for the hail storm warning then on 13th of april jammu division himachal pradesh punjab haryana rajasthan and rajasthan very likely to experience hail storm activity uh, and thunder storm activity with the uh, and gusty winds speed 40 to 50 kmph at one or two places and on 14th of april mainly the himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana and west uttar pradesh this very likely to experience thunder storm activity gusty wind speed reaching 40 to 50 kmph and hail storm activity at one or two places and from 15th uh, april onwards as this western disturbance will move further eastward so the weather activity will uh, significantly decrease over the entire northwest india so no hail storm is likely over the any parts of the country on 15th and 16th of april and we also know that mainly over the central parts uh, of the country in adjoining areas are experiencing hail storm activity since last 3 to 4 days so today also mainly the madhya pradesh uh, madhya pradesh vidarbha marathwada and madhya maharashtra very likely to experience thunder storm activity and gusty wind speed reaching 40 to 50 kmph at one or two places and tomorrow only uh, madhya pradesh uh, in the central india likely to experience hail storm activity from 14th april onwards there will not be any significant weather over the entire central india and adjoining parts of the maharashtra and south peninsular india because of this synoptic features So if you look for the heavy rainfall warning then mainly the jammu kashmir very likely to experience heavy rainfall activity on 13th of april and 14th of april similarly the himachal pradesh likely to experience heavy rainfall activity at one or two places on 14th and 15th of april Uh, over the uh, north east india mainly the rainfall activity will increase from from night of 15th april because of that heavy rainfall activity will be experienced at one or two places over the arunachal pradesh in assam and meghalaya on 16th of april over the south peninsular india today also uh, mainly the south tamil nadu and south uh, south kerala likely to experience heavy rainfall activity at one or two places on today and if you look for the uh, other parts of the country uh, first if you look for the north west india then the weather activity will gradually increase over the northwest india uh, uh, entire northwest india from 13th of april which can be clearly seen in these maps so there will be light to moderate rainfall activity over the many parts of the northwest india on 13th 14th and 15th 15th of april and from 16th of april this western disturbance will move further eastward so the rainfall activity will significantly decrease over the entire northwest india even the haryana rajasthan and uttar pradesh likely to be dry on 16th of april and accordingly and the rainfall activity will increase over the north east india particularly over arunachal pradesh and assam meghalaya from the 15th of april so the light to moderate rainfall activity will be seen over the region on 15th and 16th of april over the south peninsular india light to moderate rainfall activity and uh, will be seen mainly over the mainly over the vidarbha region interior parts of the maharashtra telangana karnataka and some parts of the kerala and tamil nadu during next two two days from 14th of april the rainfall activity will significantly 
decrease over the entire central India and south peninsular India. However, light rainfall will be seen at one or two places. And as far as the east India is concerned, light rainfall activity will be seen at one or two places during next three days. From 15th of April, the rainfall activity will significantly decrease over the entire East India. So mainly the weather likely to be dry over the Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and adjoining parts of the Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Rayal Sima on 15th and 16th of April. If you look for the uh, heat wave warning and mainly the maximum temperatures and its forecast then study the maximum temperatures were in the range of 40 to 42 degrees centigrade over some parts of the south Rajasthan, some parts of the Saurashtra and Kutch and some parts of the interior Maharashtra and Rayal Sima and over the remaining parts of the uh, mainly the plains of northwest India, west India and remaining parts of the peninsular India the maximum temperatures were in the range of 37 to 39 degrees centigrade however over the east India the maximum temperatures were in the range of 30 to 34 degrees centigrade because of the rainfall activity are going on over all those regions since last three to four days and uh, as far as the uh, uh, East India is concerned, the maximum temperatures is are very likely to rise by 3 to 5 degrees centigrade over the entire East India con consisting of Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha and adjoining parts of the Chhattisgarh also. So the maximum temperatures will significantly rise over the uh, entire East India in the upcoming 5 days and over the South Peninsular India, West India and over the uh, uh, remaining parts of the Central India, there will not be any significant change in the maximum temperatures on today and tomorrow however from the 14th of april onwards the maximum temperature will rise by 3 to 4 degrees centigrade over some parts of the peninsular india some parts of the maharashtra gujarat and some parts of the madhya pradesh also over the northwest india as we have seen that the fresh western disturbance is likely to affect entire northwest india because of that the rainfall activity thunderstorm activity will be seen over the entire northwest india so because of that the maximum temperatures very likely to fall by 3 to 5 degrees centigrade over over the uh, most parts of the northwest India except East Uttar Pradesh uh, during next four to five days and if you look for the maximum temperature departures the maximum temperatures are above normal by one to three degrees centigrade at one or two places over the uh, southwest Rajasthan Uttar Pradesh Haryana Kerala Tamil Nadu and South India Karnataka and over the entire East India and adjoining parts of the central India because of the rainfall activities over the region the maximum temperatures are below normal by three to five degrees centigrade and if you look for the heat wave warning then then on uh, today tomorrow and day after tomorrow there uh, will not be any heat wave conditions over the any parts of the country however as the temperature will start to rise over the east india and the peninsular india from the 14th april onwards so because of that the heat wave conditions likely to develop over the odisha and over the coastal and pradesh from 15th of april and 16th of april also the heat wave conditions will be seen over the parts of odisha and parts of coastal and pradesh and because of the uh, comparatively high temperatures and because of the uh, high uh, high humidity in the atmosphere hot and humid weather uh, uh, very likely to be experienced over the kerala during next five days over the rail sima and coastal and pradesh on uh, 12th 13th and 14th of april and hot and humid weather is also likely over tamil nadu and coastal parts uh, coastal uh, karnataka on 14th 15th and 16th of april and odisha on 14th of april and similarly over the coastal areas of the Maharashtra and uh, Goa and coastal areas of the Gujarat is also likely to experience hot and humid weather because of the high temperature and because of the high humidity on 15th and 16th of April. For more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.